Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I have Lily and Jackson helping me in the kitchen, and we're going to make some easy St. Patrick's Day themed treats. Today's video is also a collab with Jessica over at the channel Big John TV. She's also going to be sharing some really cute and easy St. Patrick's Day themed food. So definitely check out her video. I will link it down below. For this recipe, we're going to use some store-bought sugar cookie dough. Now, if you'd like, you could make your own, but we're definitely taking some help from the store. And we're only going to use half of one of these tubes today. But if you're trying to feed a lot of people, you could definitely double or even triple this recipe. And then of course, for this fruit pizza, you're going to need a lot of fruit. And I tried to go with the colors of the rainbow. So we have strawberries, mandarin oranges, some bananas, some kiwi, and some blueberries. Now for the sauce of our fruit pizza, we're going to combine some room temperature cream cheese and some strawberry jam. We're also going to use some chocolates and some mini marshmallows. We're going to start by shaping our cookie dough. And to make this really easy, I'm going to line my sheet with some parchment paper. And to keep the dough from sticking, I'm gonna add a little bit of flour. Now one roll of cookie dough will actually make two fruit pizzas, but today we're just gonna make the one, so we'll save the other half of our dough for later. Next, Lily and I are going to roll our dough out into a long snake. This part was really fun, it's just like Play-Doh. Definitely a job that Lily could do. Next, all we're gonna do is press it out into a rainbow shape, but keep in mind the dough will spread out and puff up a little bit. Next, we're going to add this to a preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. While the cookie pizza is in the oven, we're going to make our sauce. Lily's going to add the room temperature cream cheese to a mixing bowl, and I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of strawberry jam. Now you could also add some powdered sugar to this if you'd like it to be more like a frosting, but we decided to leave it out. Now it's time to prepare the fruit. As I'm slicing the fruit, I'm trying to make sure to slice them pretty thin and make sure that they're bite-sized. And I'm actually gonna wait to chop the banana until right before I put it on the pizza. That way it doesn't turn brown. About 12 minutes later, our crust is done. And you wanna make sure to cook this until it's crispy. You don't want it to burn, but you also don't want it really soft. You wanna be able to pick it up and eat it like a slice of pizza. And this next part is really important. You wanna make sure to cool it down completely before you transfer it and before you put your toppings on. Now that it's cooled down, we can go ahead and add our strawberry cream cheese sauce. You just wanna put a few dollops on there and spread it out. This is gonna act as our glue to keep our fruit on our pizza. And I'm going to leave a little space on either end of the rainbow for a surprise. And now the fun part, the arranging of the fruit. And now for our surprise. I'm going to take some mini marshmallows and put them in a little serving bowl and place it on one end of the rainbow. And that's gonna look like our clouds. And on the other side, I'm going to add our pot of gold. That way there's treasure at the end of the rainbow. Next up, Jackson and I are making a jello treat because there's always room for jello, right? For this, we're going to use a six ounce box of lime flavored jello, some whipped cream, some Lucky Charms cereal. We're also using muffin tins, some small clear plastic cups, and some bottle caps. And I'll tell you more about those later. We're going to start by mixing up our jello. And I'm following the directions on the side of the box to make the Jello Jigglers, which is going to leave us with a more firm textured Jello. 
which basically means you add less water. Jackson's going to add our jello to our mixing bowl while I deal with the boiling water. That's definitely part for mom to do and not Jackson. And then I'm gonna have him whisk it up. And you're gonna to wanna to whisk this until all of the granules are dissolved. Next, we're going to prepare our muffin tin. We're going to take our bottle caps and add one to each of our muffin spaces. And this is to help prop up our cup on its side as the jello is setting. It's gonna make it look really cool. So now that our jello has had time to cool down a bit because we definitely don't want it to melt our cups, we can go ahead and add a little bit to our cups. We definitely don't want to overfill them or they'll spill everywhere. Now it's time to get these in the fridge and just to make sure there aren't any leaks inside my fridge, I'm gonna take my muffin pans and put them on top of a cookie sheet. That way I can transfer them easily to the fridge. While the jello is setting up, Jackson and Lily are going to work together to pull all of the really fun marshmallows out of our Lucky Charms. We're just using the marshmallows, not the cereal. But they definitely snacked on that cereal as they were working, so it did not go to waste. It only took our jello about one hour to set up, and now it's nice and firm, and you can see how it's only in half of our cup. It looks really fun. Right before serving, I'm going to add my whipped cream. Now, if you're looking for something that's gonna last a little bit longer, you could try using Cool Whip instead. Next, we're going to have some fun decorating these up. We're gonna add some of our Lucky Charms marshmallows, some really fun sprinkles, and a cute little shamrock pick. Super easy, super cute, and fun. Now here's a really fun bonus idea, you guys. You could also make this a fruit and jello cup. And you can kind of see we have the whole rainbow effect with the fruit, it's really fun. Don't forget to go check out Jessica's video. I can't wait to see what fun surprises she's going to make. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these treats is yours.